More than a dozen Maltese dogs that were rescued from a puppy mill in Silver Springs are looking for good homes. Colo 8 News Now's Chris Buckley met some of these rescued dogs this afternoon, and she's here tonight with more on this story. Chris. Noah, a lot of these dogs had been mistreated for years, and it showed when they were finally rescued. But they've come a long way in the past two months, and now are looking to find forever homes. This is Henry. He is one of 19 dogs that were rescued from a puppy mill that we pulled. And one of the oldest of more than two dozen dogs taken from a puppy mill in Silver Springs. We estimate him to be around 10, but his teeth are so bad it's hard to tell. Medically, he's one of the worst off. He was debarked, so he has tissue in his uh, trachea that uh, makes it hard for him to breathe and oxygenate, so he has neurological issues. He's had um, episodes where he's almost died. He can't be put under anesthesia because of the debarking. The dogs, ranging in age from four months to 10 years, all showed signs of neglect. We're extremely matted, hadn't been groomed in forever. They had were covered in their own urine. A lot of them had burns from the urine burns. Um, on top of medical, there were some that had to be put down because of the condition they were in. But since being rescued in December, there's been some big changes. It took them about two weeks to be start realizing what kind of to be a dog. And now they're coming to us, they want us, they jump for us, they wait for the, at us for us the door. I mean, it's just, they're awesome. Two have already been adopted, and the rest are waiting to find the right homes. So we would like adult homes more on the quiet side, but like some of them would love hiking people, people who like to go hiking and travel, RVs, um, things like that. Um, they all have their own personality, so what we like to do is find people who want us to match a Maltese to them. Now that puppy mill has been shut down. To learn more about adopting these dogs, head to colotv.com. The Reno Tahoe Rescue Society is also looking for volunteers and foster families. Noah. All right. I hope they find good homes. Thank you, Chris.